Hi, second video for Saturday the 29th. Let's take a look at what's going on in the greenhouses because I know somebody's going to ask. So let's get in the greenhouse. Isn't that looking pretty in there? And I got a little helper here. Hi, Gypsy. How's it going, girl? All right, let's go on in. I got lots of harvesting to do in here. Sorry. Squash and beans and marigolds. Got some beans to pick. And tomatoes. Peas. I forgot to say out front there's peas in one of those beds out front. And the tomatoes and such. Doing pretty good in here. Ooh, those got a little. Those ones got a little too cold it looks like. So I may have to put a cover over that. It's good to know. I can pinch those back easy and they'll sprout new ones. I'm not worried. And these tomatoes are doing right fine. The Cuban oregano down under. I've got them in different spots and different lighting so I can see what they like. They seem to like that corner well. I have a nice big red tomato over there to get. And uh, look, some San Marzano. Oops, why don't I just come around here? Everything's hooking onto my dress. Lots of tomatoes in here to pick. And the ceiling is just covered. I'm going to freeze. I'm going to actually, I'm going to cut these all in half and I'm going to dry them. And then I have that for dual purpose, meaning I can have seeds in the spring. And I've got the little cherry ones too. I'm going to save some of them for seed as well so remember if you dry them you got a whole bunch of seeds in them and then you can just stick a piece of that right in the dirt and they will sprout and i think i've got i have beans in here i didn't put peas in there and some basil is doing all right the uh beans i tried to transplant move in didn't do well couple of tomatoes didn't do well, but I can still harvest the seeds and then I'll cut those little tomatoes back. But that is where we are at with this greenhouse here. So let's take a walk. Come on, Gypsy. Let's go. Come on. Gypsy, come on. If I leave this open, the chickens will get in here and then everything will be destroyed. Let me get this closed up. Okay. Now let's go check the other one. The other one takes a little, a couple of seconds for me to be able to get in there. Oh, I forgot to check the temperature in there. I guarantee you it's like 90 degrees in there. Just move this fence. I was saying kind of that in the last video and then I squirreled. But I just moved this fence around yesterday and had moved the big bins that had the potatoes in there. And then I, that's where they were on the left side there. And then I moved the fence over, which is where I wanted it to begin with. But the, they kept getting into my potatoes. So I uh, waited until I could harvest and then I put the fence where I wanted it. we are and I'll pull a couple of these off to show you hang on a moment while I get this latched so if you recall a couple weeks ago well, it was before the wedding uh, I had planted down in here and made these beds and this one is carrot little finger carrots Let's see if I get this off of here okay And there are some sprouting down in there. So this dome is helping give that a little bit more warmth. And I don't want to take off the other ones, and I know you'll understand. But I know it's all sprouting under there. I haven't finished covering. I ran out of a strip of plastic. But even so, down here, see the select salad mix? Look at them sprouting in there. I think they'll be all right. 
that's a good sign for me. There are beets down in here. I just don't know how well this one's going to do. And we just covered those up. You know, we could take a peek. Let's take a peek. I can open one end a little bit. I made it easy. Oh, looky there. We got sprouts. So this right there is Romulus lettuce. So there, it's working. It's working. Some things are slower than others to sprout. And like I said, I just, just got this cover on there. Okay. And there's carrots in here. I don't know if they're up. I can't see any. Then inside here, I made a couple of additional things. I covered these windows to hold in more heat in there. I don't really need to open these windows in the winter. If I want to get the hose in there, well, I can't use the hose in the winter, but if I need to get in there, I just go in the door. And if I need ventilation, I'll open the door. Another detail I left out, when I was talking about this hay pile. There is a method where you build up the leaves and the hay and all that and build it up against a screen or a window of something and you open it and the heat that builds up from the inside of that pile will come through that window so it's over on that side right over there on the left side of that cucumber that's where that window is with the yellow lid in the last video and so it's we're going to use that method and I'm going to pile that all up. But like I said in the previous video, I need to, I'm waiting for more leaves and more material and I need to mow and get some green stuff in there so that it has something to activate and become the pile that we need. And growing in here, we've got the cucumbers and rosemary, stevia, marjoram, Jalapeno, eggplants, summon pots of eggplants, tomatoes, Roma tomatoes, yellow pear tomatoes. My, I moved that nasturtium. That nasturtium is three years in that pot now, and it's doing really good. I just love that nasturtium. It's a, it's a different color. It's a yellow and a, a, a red. Quite pretty. But everything's just thriving in there. Move the tank down into that space there, and so for the thermal heat but oh no that is I don't know if I can get a good zoom in on this flower probably not because I'm shaking like I'm so tired but that is our update for the greenhouse on this Saturday October 29th still lots of work to do but you know what it's good work it's happy work and God is blessing us with food and the chickens just love it and the kitties love it. So all in all, everything is great. Blessings all. Have a great day.